Soon we'll be raking those leaves and looking ahead to next summer's crops. Gardener and composting expert Mark Foreman shares tips on putting your leaves and leftovers to work in your own backyard. My name is Mark Foreman, and worms eat my garbage. I'm going to show you how worms can eat your garbage, too. One of the questions I often get asked about composting is, what can I compost? And really, there's a very simple recipe to remember for composting. It, it requires just four things. You need water, oxygen, carbons, and nitrogens. Carbons are going to be your dry things, your browns, uh, cardboard, newspaper, junk mail makes an excellent carbon, uh, shredded paper, um, leaves in the, in the fall, you can shred those up, they make for really nice compost uh, uh, carbons. Uh, wood chips are awesome in compost. Uh, nitrogens, on the other hand, are your greens, your, your wet things. Uh, it's going to be your kitchen scraps, the things that are uh, left over after you've cooked a meal, your onion peel, um, banana peels, apple cores, uh, things like that. I have a, a wife and two kids, and we uh, eat primarily a plant-based diet, so we, in the summers, when we've got our garden going pretty well, and we've got our CSA box giving us lots of vegetables, I keep a jar, uh, a sealed jar by the counter, where I can take whatever I've been peeling, carrots, potatoes, and just drop the skins right into that jar. And then when the jar is full, I can bring it out here to, to my pile and bury it in with some, some carbons and mix it up real well. And then folks want to know what the ratios are. It's about 30 carbons to every nitrogen. Uh, hard to measure, so we just throw it in there and we let it do its work. So an easy rule of thumb for remembering what the nitrogens are, it's going to be tea bags. So as you're making tea, you can throw the whole tea bag into your compost and it'll break down. Coffee grounds also are awesome nitrogens. Um, if you get enough coffee into a pile, uh, enough spent coffee grounds into a pile, it'll heat the pile up and that makes it break down a lot faster, especially in the winter when stuff freezes. So this is a bucket of really, really uh, gross nitrogens that I've been collecting for a while. We have some old watermelon rinds. You'll see coffee on the top. We drink a lot of coffee in this house. Uh, even a old coffee cup in there. So now what I like to do is I like to add some carbons to the top of that. And I've got some paper shred here. It's just perfect for that. What you're doing when you're composting is really more about really small animal husbandry. You're sort of breaking it up into bite-sized chunks for all the little decomposers and the bacteria that are going to go to work on this stuff. So you're going to want to mix this all together pretty well. Um, one of my favorite things to compost is junk mail. We all hate getting it, but it makes great worm food. Again, if worms are going to eat your garbage, you better feed them the stuff you really like for them to eat. Junk mail is my favorite thing to feed my worms. Newspaper is really great as well. And what you're doing by mixing it is making sure that the carbons and the nitrogens are well integrated. Uh, it'll break down faster, um, and the carbons will help trap some of those nitrogen gases so that the stench stays contained in the pile. If you're just getting started, you'd probably want to probably want to water this with a hose for, you know, five minutes or so, get it nice and saturated. Also, it's got to be organic. It has to have grown in the ground, in the soil, to which we are returning it. My name is Mark Foreman, and worms eat my garbage.